Good day, good day my fellow royal fans, today's news. One of the most important parts of the Jubilee weekend might not have been on the official order of events or captured for prosperity by photographers, but it was certainly just as poignant. It is reported that last Wednesday evening, just hours after Prince Harry arrived in the UK, Prince Charles invited both his sons to Clarence House for dinner. And regardless of how Harry and Wills feel about each other, their attendance was non-negotiable. Witnesses outside Charles's London residence reveals William was spotted arriving for the summit at 7pm on the dot. A separate source says a very jet-lagged Harry arrived at a similar time. The men attended without their wives and that the catch-up lasted for three hours. Charles felt it was important for his two sons to break bread and move on, literally, says a palace source. This was the first time they'd sat down together since the infamous Sandringham Summit of 2020, when Harry outlined his demands for his half-in, half-out royal life and William left in a fury, declining his grandmother's invitation for them all to stay for lunch. While only time will tell if Charles's hosting peace talks will have a lasting effect, Sources close to the situation say the brothers kept things cordial and agreed to be on their best behaviour for the Queen's sake. At the first event of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, the Troop in the Colour, which took place last Friday, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were noticeably absent from the balcony appearance. This is due to Her Majesty's request that only working royals were to appear on the balcony. While not on the balcony with her royal in-laws, the Duchess of Sussex was pictured with Savannah Phillips and Mia Tyndall during the festivities. There's our royal news for today guys. Thank you for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe for more and goodbye for now.